Hi, I'm with Trinity. And we're gonna answer some questions and trivia about wildlife and ways that we can help wildlife. Question. Do suckers pay for water? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Suckers pay for water. I agree. I mean, it's free, right? And well, you can use a reusable bottle. People can use reusable bottles and stuff. Okay. Do you think milk is natural? No. <laughs> Would um, you drink dog milk? No. Would you drink? Elephant milk? No. Gorilla milk? No. Pig milk? No. Um, what's another animal? Giraffe milk? So why do we drink cow milk? Um, I don't know. we've been introduced to it. That's it. We're conditioned to think it's normal. Yeah. And milk's, milk's made for babies of the same species. And it, there's like a million pus cells in every glass. Like, it's almost like creepier than breastfeeding from a woman. <laughs> If you think about it, you know what I mean? Most people don't think about it. It's kind of funny and strange, but yeah. Um, like I'm talking about like we're feeding all of our crops to animals. And what do you where do you think they go to? When you feed an animal 10 pounds of crops, where do you think most of it turns to? I don't know. Like shit? <laughs> yeah. Shit! Like yeah. Yes! Shit! Boo! Yes. So meat starves people because it takes about 10 pounds of corn and soybean and crops. You, if you eat 10 pounds of food, are you going to put on 10 pounds of weight? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you think you're gonna put out? If you, if you just ate like another today, if you ate 10 pounds of food, how much weight do you think you're gonna put out? I don't know, like three pounds? Yeah, one like maybe that. over one pound. Yeah, because oh, you're gonna you're gonna poop know. out. I yes. guess so. Yeah. <laughs> so meat starves. Learning a lot about my digestion. Right <laughs> <laughs> so yes, meat starves people because we're feeding all of our crops to animals and they're pooing them out when we have more than enough food to feed people. So it also raises the price of crops too because we're inefficiently using mm. them. And the government's subsidizing okay. it all, which then is yeah. is uh, bad um, as well. Um, funny question, is a cow your mom? No. No. I don't think so. so. My question is, do you drink milk? Yeah. Cow milk? Uh, actually, cow. no, I drink oat milk. Only. Oat milk, okay, yeah. so a cow is not your mom. Okay, <laughs> that's very true. Milk, milk is made for babies of the same species. We wouldn't drink dog milk. Would you drink pig milk? Elephant milk? To be honest, it's a health thing for me, mm -hmm. so not my style to drink, you know. It's not like I didn't, it's just like it, it just wasn't a, it was a health concern, so yeah, yeah oat milk. Yeah, no, oat definitely, milk. I agree, oat milk's great, definitely, yeah. definitely. But yeah, a cow's not our mom, neither is a dog, neither is a pig, neither is a goat, neither is an elephant, a gorilla. So a cow's not your mom, so. <laughs> yeah, no. We don't need to breastfeed from animals and the other stuff. Listen, I'm a dog trainer, so <laughs> all about animal awesome. consent and okay. whatnot. Oh, awesome, um, awesome. I love that. Speaking of dogs, how do you feel about like tail and ear dogs? It's not my favorite. Well, what percentage of wildlife, I mean, has been killed off? I think a good 40%. Very close. Thanks. 40% of wildlife has been killed off in 50 years. It's estimated about 69% according to World Wildlife Reports. I know. In 50 years, we killed off almost 70% of wildlife, of most wildlife. So, what do you think is one of the best ways to help wildlife? Come a little closer to the Okay. Um, stop polluting and stop hunting and Stop polluting and stop hunting and killing them. Definitely, like Sophie hunting and stuff. Yeah, I agree, a hundred percent. Definitely. Um, why do you think there's so many endangered species? Because humanity doesn't really care about how they treat the environment and it's affecting our environment and our animals. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, do you know of some ways that we can help wildlife in our everyday choices? I would just say to stop littering, just to take care of the environment, like stop like, cutting down trees and rainforests, so, and Def fires. Definitely, deforestation is a big yeah. one. What's this behind us? Transition. Public transit is a great way to help. I, I take it you ride the bus and train. Yeah. That's one of the best ways because millions of cars like these all over yeah. is not going to help uh, wildlife not just the emissions but just the sheer quantity of roads that we have to build through habitats like deers people will say like deer are overpopulated because they cross the street in the country but really we're just building roads through the forests where they live um so public transit's a great one that you do um what about reducing like plastics have you ever thought about that yeah i don't i don't really like using plastic things that much unless it's like 
recycle. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, I have a funny question. Do suckers pay for water? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, suckers pay for water. I agree. I mean, it's free, right? And well, you can use a reusable bottle. People can use reusable bottles and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, Three. Hey, so we're here with the Real Animal News, and I'm interviewing Trey. Trey, nice to meet you, and Mar. And Mar, yeah. nice to meet you too. Uh, I like your dreadlocks, by the way. <laughs> um, so um, these are just some questions about wildlife. It's just fun questions. Um, what do you think is the best way we can help animals and wildlife? Reducing waste in oceans. Yeah, talk oh, a little oh. louder, just so. Uh, Reducing the waste in the oceans. Is what about you? What do you think? Uh, I agree. I think I agree. I don't really know. I agree. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of plastic that ends up in oceans, actually. And yeah. like whales and stuff, they'll actually eat the plastics because they think it's food. And they found like plastic bags in the intestines and they, they died and washed ashore. So he's right on. Yeah. Um, now, um, have you ever, uh, I don't know if you like have ever thought of like using reusable water bottles and stuff? that's a good way to reduce plastics and stuff um, recycling obviously but like reusable bottles and stuff now this is a funny question do suckers pay for water uh, suckers pay for water because yeah. water is free right yeah. why would we pay for water when it's free <laughs> like gatorade's good for water it's free man um okay another way we can help the environment and wildlife what's this called Subways, public transit, yeah, and rather than like billions of cars all over the road, and suburban sprawl actually kills wildlife because all the individual houses all in the country, like they cut roads through wildlife habitats and stuff. Yep. Um, how long do you think plastic lasts? Forever. Yeah. Yep. It will outlive us, like some of them like 100,000 years, yeah. And hopefully they invent ones that break down quicker, that's a good solution to it. Um, do you know what a factory farm is? Yeah. You do? What do you, what do you well, know about that? It's, isn't it like, um, like it's like not, it's not like a small farm, it's like a big farm that has a lot of animals in like small areas and they, um, they basically, it's basically for like, like, um, faster production of food, like so they can feed a larger population, yeah. but like it's bad for the animals and, um, it's also bad for the environment because the waste is like, yeah. they just keep it in like, like a pool. Awesome. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Mentioned now it's not like the traditional farms that they show on TV. They mass produce them. It's bad for the animals. Cruel. Yeah. Now, um, you mentioned feed people. Did you know that meat actually starves people? Does that make sense? Uh, no. It doesn't, right? <laughs> no. But it actually does because most of our crops feed animals. So most of our soybean and corn feed animals. How much do you think it takes for one pound of meat, of corn, to feed to an animal? Just take a, a guess. Okay, you can guess. Like three pounds. Like three? It's a, it's like triple, almost triple that. Um, so that's why meat starves people, because we're feeding all of our crops to animals. And what happens when you eat the food? What does it go? Oh. Shit! <laughs> it's poop. <laughs> yeah. So we're turning most of the crops to poop. So yeah, so meat actually does starve people and the government subsidizes it, that's why it's cheap. But um, but yeah, I'm glad you knew about factory farms. A lot of people don't know, like how they treat them for eggs, milk. Um, I don't know. I, I... So just a couple more questions. Um, do you know what a factory farm is? Where they make the meats and stuff? Yeah, where they make the meats, yeah. But do you know what happens in like a factory farm versus like an old fashioned farm? Do you know the difference? No. Okay. A factory farm is where they have like maybe 10,000 chickens, pigs, and um, animals, and they warehouse them. It's like a huge warehouse, a building. You might not even know it's a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's videos online of, of factory farms um, for eggs. There's things for cage free, but um, uh, people don't know. Like they grind up all the baby boy birds, and um, they're still warehoused and stuff. Um, can you tell me what you know about like factory farms or if anything? I just know that they do, they like kill animals and stuff like that and that's where like our meat is like produced. Our meat is produced? Yeah. Yeah. And the killing is actually not the worst part because they suffer long term in the factory farms. And there's videos on YouTube, factory farms. 
um, like farm to fridge people can look up. Um, for milk, do you think milk is natural for humans? Like animal milk? No. Do you, have you ever tried like almond milk or oat milk? Oh, okay, awesome. They even have it at like Dunkin' Donuts, I think. Yeah, milk is made for babies of the same species. Like I wouldn't drink dog milk. Would you drink dog milk? Would you drink gorilla milk? <laughs> Would you drink cat milk? <laughs> Would you drink, what's another animal? That is a mammal. Pig. Pig milk? <laughs> Goat milk? Yeah, so it's, it's strange. It's bodily fluids and it's full of pus cells. Like, I don't know why people have been conditioned to think that milk is natural, but we're not baby cows. <laughs> and we actually have to kill the babies and keep force feeding the, the females. Um, back to plastic. Um, how long do you think plastic lasts before it breaks down? A couple of months? A years? Like hundreds of years. Plastic will outlive us. A lot of plastic will like outlive us. It'll be our legacy, like plastic. Yeah, so plastic takes that long. And when like homeless people, like they collect bottles a lot of times, um, that's always a good thing. Do you think they should raise the five cents maybe? to like 20 cents a bottle, so more people want to um, turn them in. Um, That'd probably be a good way to help. Yeah, raising yeah. The, the amount that we pay and then you get that. Um, um, any like more like, what's called macro level ways of helping wildlife, like on a bigger scale? Well, we could give them like a national park and then close that like a certain section for like endangered animals so that humans won't like hunt them and then have them like, like that. Definitely. He's mentioning about like having areas where you can't hunt and shoot animals, like we did to buffalo and stuff. Yeah. Um, do you th do you think that like bears and deer will overpopulate though? Um, no. Nah. No. Just I because that bears are going like extinct yeah. and they're they're you know dying. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you think people are overpopulated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, do you know? what the human population is right now. About? I think around like 8.5 billion. Very close. He said 8.5 billion. We're, we're very close to that. We're it's just over eight. Um, so yeah. Um, do, you, do you know how many people at 1800 we have in the world? All of time to year oh, 1800. Like the, like the year? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, a lot of people died during the like, plague and stuff like that, so I'm guessing around three, four billion. One billion. One billion. It billion. took all of time, all of human history, to 1800 to reach one billion, and only 230 years later, we're at two. Seven, yeah. So, do you know how? Take a guess. How much wildlife has been killed off in the last 50 years? Jeez, that's a lot. That's like maybe 10 billion. 10 billion. Yeah, well, what percentage of wildlife I mean has been killed off? Like a good. 40%. Very close. Thinks 40% of wildlife has been killed off in 50 years. It's estimated about 69% according to World Wildlife Reports. I know. In 50 years, we killed off almost 70% of wildlife, of most wildlife. Yep. Do you, can you think of other ways that maybe we can help um, them, like simple ways? Well, we could shut down like slaughterhouses. Shut down slaughterhouses. Because there's still people that consider meat as the diet, so maybe we can have like more healthier ways to kill animals. Yeah, but when there's eight billion people eating so many animals, yeah, yeah. yeah it's gonna they're gonna die. Out yeah, like I'm personally I'm vegan. Like yeah. I, I just leave animals alone. Like there's so many foods nowadays. Like they even have plant-based meat recipes and stuff. But um, but yeah, any other ways that we can help? And and factory farms are horrible for the environment. Yeah. Um. Maybe I consider like substitutes, like food, food wise, like meat. That would be also a good way. So it's like less people eating meat and finding more healthier ways to achieve all the the nutrients you get from meat. That's also a good way. Definitely, definitely. And animals get it from what questions. Um, do you can you take a guess what percentage of wildlife has been lost in the last fifty years? Eighties? Oh, so you think it's a really high amount of wildlife? Of all wildlife, you're actually close. It's like sixty-nine percent. 
so I'm surprised that you, yeah, it's really high. Yeah. And is is there like one thing that you think, I know you mentioned deforestation and stuff, but what does all of that? What's the species that does all that stuff? Us. Us, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you think there's a lot too many humans maybe? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think we're very overpopulated. Overpopulated, yeah. I agree. We went all of time to 1800, it was only 1 billion people. Since 1800, only 250 years later, under 250 years later, we went to 8 billion. So it took all of time to reach 1 billion in 1800. And then since then, we went to 8. Yeah, definitely overpopulation is a is a big thing. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, uh, what are ways like people can maybe um, be more aware of population? Like what can they do? Like, should we make birth control free for everyone so that they have access to birth control? Should we... Um, maybe um, remove some um, uh, some incentives to have a lot of kids, maybe focus on smaller families. Yeah, I feel like birth controls and abortion should be like more like respected. Birth control and abortion should be more respected, yes. I think it should be free. Birth control especially should be free for everyone. It saves taxes and welfare, yeah. WIC, Medicaid costs, it saves Embryos. I mean, not that they're about pre-sized embryos. They're literally the size of a pea when women remove them, usually. But it saves them. Free birth control yeah. saves that, it saves taxes, and it saves wildlife. Yeah. It's like win-win-win. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so definitely, yeah, being conscious of family sizes. Maybe society has a lot of ways of discriminating against child-free. Like we pay more taxes. We pay a lot of different fines. Like. If you ever want to get a, a rent an apartment, um, you're paying school taxes and stuff. So there's a lot of like fees that are associated with it. So, yeah. Um, I have family in Texas, and every year when my husband and I go back, the valleys look different. The apartment condos look different. Though it's it's different. Wildlife has changed drastically, and. Um, there's no going back from that. When I was a kid and I used to go to visit China, my family in China, you know, it was very different. The air wasn't nearly as polluted as it is now. And um, there are parks and stuff I used to go to that are not around anymore. So it's quite sad. But if the population actually did more, maybe I would be like, a little more optimistic, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. In India and China do have high populations and they did have the one child policy but then you had to pay like fines. What do you what did you make of that? Like, what do you think about that? So um my mom growing up was so it's kind of it's tricky because China's overpopulation um was a problem and um but yeah, like at the end of the day, no matter how you slice it, the government is very, very, very aggressive. So people were intimidated to have more than one kid. And um, yeah, so at the time it was, you were, it wasn't valued to have more than one kid. So like I only have one cousin there and I don't know what he's gonna be like when he has kids, but that was the way government kind of controlled the environment. And um, that's what it was. Do you think America incentivizes having kids or doesn't? I think Americans are trying to now because I think the new trend is for people to have kids later. Um, have kids later. Yeah. yeah, like it's a very common thing in every city for people to have kids later, like in their 30s or late 30s or even early 40s. Um, and I don't really know what that's going to mean for the population. I just. I think it's every person's individual choice to know what's right for them. Yeah, but do you think America sub like encourages having more kids? I think it depends on what part of the country you're in. If you're in this part of the country, in the East Coast, in the city, it's really common to wait until your early 30s to just even know where you want to settle. If you want to stay in the city, if you want to be a renter, if you want to be a homeowner, if you want to be in a relationship and be single or you know, still figuring out your marital status. Like I think here is a place where that kind of decision making is encouraged. But where my husband grew up in the Midwest, I mean, they all had kids by the time they were in their early twenties. Yeah, it was yeah. very, it's a militaristic mindset and that's okay. It's okay that people want to do that, but it's just a different set of priorities. It's a different culture, it's a different way of life. And they all have 
three to four kids. And that's the way of life. It's just different. Nothing yeah. wrong, just different. Yeah, I lived in Houston for about six years. Oh, okay, myself. so you get it. Um, yeah, but I, I find that America incentivizes having more kids because they get child tax credits. Um, they're trying to push for paid paternity leave. They're, they, um, they're, they don't make birth control free. I think birth control should be free for everyone. It saves taxes and welfare. Um, Medicaid. And it also, um, there's school taxes. So even if you don't have kids, you're gonna, your rent is higher or your mortgage is higher because you're probably paying like 5,000 a year in school taxes. Yeah. So the, and now they want um, free daycare and stuff. So, so I do think America um, encourages having more kids because of all those subsidies that, like, and it puts the burden on child. I wouldn't be. I mean, I don't know. I don't have kids, so I'm not really too familiar with that conversation. Yeah, you don't get the but benefits. I, You're paying for the benefits, <laughs> brothers. I mean, I just yeah. got a tax break from getting married, so I was like, cool. <laughs> but you <laughs> paying, fantastic. But you, don't, you might not know it, but do you rent or have a mortgage? I rent. Your rent is probably five hundred to a thousand. Probably about five to eight hundred dollars more a month because of school taxes, and that could make that would people make, homeless. Well, that would make sense because yeah. well, I'm on the Upper East Side, yeah. and I'm like surrounded by like private schools and public yeah. schools, so like I'm very familiar. Yeah. That that my can, funds are going towards more privilege. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it can make some people homeless, like attaching yeah. school taxes to housing. I mean, it's that a, can make homeless people because like a single person who barely is getting by, and then their rent is raised six hundred bucks a month because school taxes well they're yeah. lesson what about um population is there anything that humans could do to like control our population, our population? Like, yeah oh that's a hard question that's a hard topic because like well the only thing we can do is just not have babies anymore yeah. <laughs> have, or have fewer yeah have fewer fewer kids yeah like free birth control yeah birth basically. control should be free i agree it saves taxes and like medicaid cause welfare with and Stuff. and so free birth control definitely um, it would help um, maybe like take away some of the like discrimination against like child free control because yeah. there's like like all the schools they have to pay school taxes and they have to pay all these different things they don't get child tax credits they don't get the paid paternity leave and all these other benefits that they pay into yeah so maybe give some incentives for people who actually care like um, now plastics oh Oh, it's all right. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay. Um, all right. The next question is plastics. Do you know how long plastic lasts? Oh, yeah. It's like, it, they last a long time. It's just five years to decompose for like 10 years. Ooh, I've timed that by 10. Oh, really? Like, like 100 years? Like 100 years for plastic to decompose. Let's just slide away there. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, about 100 years. Yeah. A lot of plastics. And they're inventing ones that might break down quicker. But yeah, um, but yeah plastics really bad um do you know where a lot of plastic ends up oceans and like um trash areas like the big places where you the trash landfills yeah. yeah yeah in the oceans what why is it bad if it ends up in the ocean animals get killed uh how, pollution how yeah. um the decomposition of like some some of those plastics can leave chemicals into the water that's like very harmful to like wildlife in the sea and like that. definitely and there's thing called microplastics so like the bags and yeah. the bottles like the whales and dolphins and stuff, they'll eat it because they think it's food, they don't know. And then it goes through their digestion system and um, they die, someone dies from eating the plastic. Here. And then there's microplastics that break down and get into our systems. They found microplastics in our systems. Um, New York City just had a ban on like plastic bags and they have paper bags. Yeah. You think that's a good reusable bags? Definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely, and I'm all for adopting. Um, did you speaking of dogs and stuff? Did you um, do you know like people's coat hoods? What those are made of? I try to stick to faux fur uh -huh. because I'm obviously like I'm not. I have friends who are like really into like minks and things like that. I find mm -hmm. that to be a little bit kind of eerie. So I kind of try to stick to like faux fur, faux leather, things like that. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's just. Um, first not my style. Yeah, they have like mushroom leather and stuff now too. Yeah, That's they've gotten really fucking creative. Leather, yeah. yeah, they've gotten yeah. really creative with good. that. Yeah. Um, but did you know like the, the, just the coat hoods, not like a full length thing, but like the coat hoods, the Humane Society of US DNA tested some that even said they were fake and some of them turned out to be real, not all of them. I wouldn't be surprised that industry is a little bit tricky. I remember mm -hmm. growing up, my dad had like a, a, like a box for it. He's like, oh, it's fake. And I'm like, 
true, true. No, true. I know, I know. It's yeah. a tricky industry. Yeah, like Canada Goose, they're actually made of like coyotes and I've wall. heard, I've heard, I've heard. Yeah, and they use the down duck feather filling yeah. for pillows too. Yeah, I've um, heard that. Yeah, just pe things that people need to be aware of. That's why I'm mentioning them right now. So <laughs> you're helping. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, a lot of the fur trim coat hoods, just the coat hood and Uggs or sheep skins that kill sheep for the Ugg Uggs. I call them yeah. ugly Uggs, like cavemen. Yeah. <laughs> I would wear them, cavemen clothing. Um, and even wool has some cruelty to it. Um, do you know what a factory farm is? Yes, um, I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, so what I know about it is like animals are literally just bred just for farming for like agricultural purposes. It's it's a very disturbing to be honest. Um, I know a lot of people who become vegan specifically in protest of that. Um, I'm pretty pretty aware of it. It's pretty hard to watch. Yeah. Do you think the slaughter is the worst part, or do you think it's how they're raised? No, I think it's the whole process of how they're raised, how they're born into that. I mean, it's no different than testing on beagles, mm -hmm. you know, and like certain, it's it's a very, it's, it's a really disgusting practice. And um, yeah, it's, it's really sad. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, they their common practices in factory farms are they force breed, they castrate pigs, tail and ear dog. Yeah, um, yeah. They um, debeak little baby bird uh, yeah. chicks yep, 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 yep. for the egg industry. They stuff the females in cages. And you know what happens to all the males when they're breeding for more females? Um, no, not that I'm aware of. The little baby chicks, they're mercerated, which is a grinder. They, or they throw them in trash oh, bags yeah. and they kill them all because they just want the females right. because they're the only ones that are going to lay eggs. Right. So the males, when they're breeding for more females, all the males get thrown in um, mercerators, just ground up and thrown away. Yeah. Millions of them each week, and the females probably have it worse because they get to live in a tiny cage the size of a file drawer their whole life. I know and it's they, it's very stressful to watch that stuff. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, because a lot of people don't know why eggs are cruel. They think like it's harmless, but really, eggs are one of the cruelest because of how they do it and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and the, the um, and some ways to help. Um, you mentioned um, we talked about like plastic, uh, public transit. Um, reducing consumption, maybe having much smaller families, like people having less kids. Uh, do you know how much humans have grown since um, in the last um, 50 years? No. All of time to 1800, 1 billion people. So all of time ever, 1 billion people to 1800. 230, 100, 230 years later, we're at, do you know how many people now? About 3 point something. 3 billion? Close. Yes. We're near, we just reached 8 billion people. We just reached 8 billion. So, so yeah, like smaller families, obviously suburban sprawl doesn't help. Like cities help wildlife because we keep ourselves contained versus having roads and everywhere cutting through forests. But yeah, smaller families, definitely a free birth control can help. Um, and reducing like our reliance on like animal products and trying like vegan foods and stuff. But um, yeah, no, I appreciate you guys talking. Um, is there anything else you, you like have to add or something about helping wildlife or anything? Uh, what you tell your friends, like how they help wildlife? I mean, anything I think I heard whales be exploded. Whales be what? Exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I did hear about that. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, you're, I think you're right. Um, I think, like, because a lot of people think that you get you know, protein from meat, but you can get like protein from like, like a lot of other things. Can you say it louder? Yeah. I said like a lot of people think that you get like your main source of protein from meat but you can get it from other things like I don't really know but you can get it from other things like meat is not the only source of protein that you can get. He's, he's dead right. Meat is not the only source of protein. Yeah. Tons of pro athletes like Colin Kaepernick, the NFL player. There's um, UFC fighters. Mike Tyson even went vegan like 10 years ago. Yeah. There's tons of athletes. Um, Kyrie Irving, I don't know if you watch basketball, Kyrie Irving is vegan. So yeah, ton, tons of athletes are vegan, he's right. Yeah. There's tons of protein, it's not It's a non-issue. There's bodybuilders who are vegan, Olympians. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, last question, do you know why some people are organic and don't like try to buy organic food? Uh, because like the more processed the food is the worse because it goes through like a bunch of machines and factories and also it's, well it's like, I, I, would, I would say it's more expensive, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, 
organic isn't really necessarily about the factories. It's actually pesticides that they spray all over um, the crops. And then it gets in the soil when it rains and all the wildlife, the bees, the birds, the squirrels, they all get poisoned. But it also poisons us. Like it's, it's poison, it's made to kill. And then the plants drink it and it gets in the fruit. So you can't wash it off either. So it's basically poison and it's poisoning us. So it, it does cost a little more, but it's worth it because you don't want to poison yourself. Maybe get cancer down the road or something. So, um, so yeah, that's why organic is good. It's good for wildlife. It's good for us to not give us poison like it's made to kill so yeah, yeah i appreciate you brothers talking um have a great awesome day and thank you for sharing um, your insight and everything i appreciate you uh, take it easy guys real real animal news signing off is there anything else you want to add for like helping wildlife and animals what do you tell your friends or what do you mean, like questions to add? Yeah, or just something that people need to be more aware of that they a lot of people don't know. Um, the school should teach something. I think like carbon emission and gas emission is a very big problem mm -hmm. that people should talk about. Like how we use a lot of like carbon emission in cars and gas emission that's gonna hurt the planet eventually. Yeah. I mean, it already is because of global warming and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And they have hybrids, but all those batteries yeah. are, are toxic too. This is the best, one of the best ways to help right here. Yeah. Public transit, subways and stuff, rather than millions of people having their own cars, their own gas, all roads going through everywhere, and suburban sprawl, which kills cities and public transit. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. And maybe like consuming less people, being aware of plastic, how much they consume, plant-based dieting and animal cruelty and um, having smaller families, stuff yeah. like that. Definitely. Awesome, brother. Thank uh, you for talking cool. and your insight. Thank you. But yeah. thank you for talking to me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. Have a good day, yeah. You too, brother. Animal News Network signing out. That was a great interview with him. Parrot. So the last question the parrot wants to ask, have you ever considered, like, for helping the environment, like, vegetarian or vegan? Yeah. Oh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> you rock. High five. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Birds are actually the most abused animals on Earth. They're small, so most people eat about 30 birds a year and not even one cow. So birds are actually abused in the largest quantity. So that's what the parrot wants to say. How <laughs> wild life! And you're awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you rock. It was nice talking to you guys. Thanks. You too. Take Thank care. You. You're you the too. best. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Trinity. Hi. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Hi, I'm with Trinity. And we're going to answer some questions and trivia about wildlife and ways that we can help wildlife. And we're with Real Animal News. So, what do you think is one of the best ways to help wildlife? Come a little closer to me. Okay.